Hey guys, it's James Dolm with Back On Sales. We brought you here today to talk about our Hydra Excavation Unit, and we're gonna go over some of the features and benefits of this unit. Uh, first and foremost, right up here in front, you'll see we have our hydrostatic pump. This is running our water system. Uh, running off of the same drive, the same front engine PTO, is also our chassis hydraulics. Uh, you have the option of running your water and your hydraulics from the front or off of a hot shift PTO and running your water also off of the transfer case. Let's step around the side and take a look at some of the other features. So let's talk about the vacuum sister on, on our hydro excavation unit. You have the choice of either a positive displacement blower or a three stage fan, either our classic fan or our aero boost fan. On this particular unit, we're using an 827 Roots positive displacement blower. Uh, we can go, we can do from an 824 PD, an 827, all the way up to an 1125 um, uh, tri-lobe. Um, we can also do an 827 DVJ blower. On this particular unit, uh, we're running dual cyclone separators for filtration in addition to a final filter. What that's going to allow you to do is if it's necessary to vac up very fine dry material, you have the ability to do so without running the risk of getting heavy sediment or any sediment for that matter through your positive displacement blower. So let's talk a little bit about how the water system is set up. We've already discussed the front hydrostatic pump, how you can run it off the front of the engine if you like, or we can also run it off the transfer case. Now you'll also notice that where we actually have the water pump set up itself as well as all the plumbing is a little bit different than your standard combination unit. On our hydro excavator we have it down in this cabinet tucked away from all the elements. Um, we have your water pump which is not your standard combo truck pump, still a a giant triplex, uh, but this particular pump is 20 gallons per minute at 4,000 PSI versus your 50 at 3 or your 60 at 2 or 80 at 2. Uh, everything is, we still have our air purge. Your hydro excavation hose is right here. Um, it does have an electric re rewind to make recalling your hose when you're done a lot easier. So earlier in the film, you'll remember we discussed the filtration system with this truck how it's an A27 PD, but it's using uh, dual cyclonic separators instead of just a single, as well as a final filter. So over here on the driver's side, this is the second cyclonic uh, separator. Same removable cartridge that you clean when you're gonna dump the tank out, as well as your final filter housing and a removable cartridge inside that you're gonna pull out and dust that off when you're cleaning the truck out as well. For pipe storage, we have our um, five pipe Lazy Susan. This is a fantastic feature, purely mechanical, almost impossible to kill. Drop one pin, easily rotate, and still with a safety catch so it doesn't rotate when you're driving down the road. Makes holding your pipes very, very easy and they're tucked up out of the way. Now you'll also notice behind me on the debris tank is a catwalk. That is a safety feature to allow you to get up alongside the side of the debris tank and address all your hydraulic functions on the boom, as well as service it, grease it, replace any wear parts that may need to be, um, may need to be addressed up top. Um, you'll also notice the ladder that we use to climb up to the catwalk doesn't stay down. It actually will fold up out of the way with a sturdy safety pin to hold it and keep it from dropping down the road when you're driving and keep you from hitting your knees on when you're walking around the truck. Hey guys, so we're over here at the curb side of the truck and we're going to talk about the control panel on this hydro excavation unit. So with a regular combination unit, you'd be used to all your functions being up at the front. Well, since we're going to be working off the side of the truck or the rear with our wireless remote, we're going to, we've moved all of our controls over here. So you'll see you still have all the same features, it's just set up a little bit differently. So on this particular unit, I have my debris tank flush out circuit, my low pressure handgun circuit, my hydro excavation handgun circuit, which we're going to be using the most as well as my water pump control circuit to allow me to either send the water to the circuit I need or dump my water back to the water tanks. I also have uh, my chassis engine control here, activate my throttle control, and I can increase or decrease my RPM as needed. I also have my vacuum pump hydrostatic pump control. So I've got from one quarter stroke all the way up to full stroke, just based on the push of a button. I can also control my vacuum breakers from here. I can open or close them however I need. I have my water pump, hydrostatic pump engagement, same as the vacuum pump, one quarter stroke all the way up to full stroke, depending on how, many, how, much, how much water pressure I need. I also have all my controls for my boom, uh, all my telescopic features, up, down, left, right, um, as well as uh, the controls for my PowerFlex boom knuckle. Hey guys, so you heard me just talk about our PowerFlex boom. 
You're probably wondering, what is that? How is that different from a fixed elbow? Uh, so what the Power Flex is, it is actually my ability to hydraulically control uh, the angle of the elbow at the end of my boom. I have the ability to actually walk my pipe back and forth. So if you're digging a long trench, instead of having to constantly pick your pipe up, extend your boom, you can actually, with a sweeping motion, cover a much greater distance than you would with just having to manhandle it. Um, this is a lot easier to use instead of, uh, versus the, the longer flexible hose that you see on a lot of hydro excavators because then you're just having to manhandle that pipe around or lay it under. Another benefit of this boom, if I extend it all the way forward and I've got a decent length of pipe on there, I can actually fit it down inside of a culvert. Um, I can get down at an angle if I'm trying to undercut something. It will go all the way flat out as well as about 110 degrees backwards. So really what that does for you is it just simply offers you a much greater range of motion with your vacuum pipe. Another unique feature of our uh, the, the boom on our hydro excavator, in addition to the power flex boom or power flex knuckle rather, um, is it's an eight foot telescopic boom. So you still have an additional eight foot of reach from fully collapsed, as well as about 340 degrees rotation. So it will nearly go around the entire entire circumference of the truck. Um, another feature on this truck is our back door. Uh, this is our flat style rear door. We also offer a dome style rear door differences being with the flat style rear door, uh, we have two, uh, two large rams activating four wedge locks to hold the door in place when it's locked. It's a very simple, very robust design, gives you a very positive lock no matter how much material or how much debris you have in the tank.